For the second league game in a row, Leroy Sane was the difference. Let nothing be taken away from Americ Laporte's superb defense splitting ball, but Pep Guardiola was more interested in talking up the wing play. As soon as John Stones knocked the ball to his centre-back partner, Sane was alert and ready to spring inside and beyond his man. The ball duly arrived in front of his path and, measuring pace with composure, he had the awareness to put the ball on a plate for Gabriel Jesus. If the finish against Liverpool was inch perfect, this was all-round brilliance from the German and exactly what the manager wants. Once again, some tough love has brought the best out of Sane. This season felt like it would be tougher for the 23-year-old to return to Guardiola's good books. While he may possess pace that few can match, the arrival of £60 million Ryud Mars and the ever-improving Raheem Sterling loomed as two significant hurdles in Sane's path. Both have been praised by the manager for their mentality, and they were the chosen pair early on in big games, while Sane watched on from the bench. But the young man that experienced World Cup rejection and fatherhood within a few months of each other last year has emerged even better to earn his place back in the team. He knew that the strain of four competitions meant he would be guaranteed minutes and set about doing everything he could in those opportunities. The assist against Wolves made it 10 assists and 9 goals from 19 starts in all competitions this season, and 8 league assists set him up well for another tilt at the Playmaker of the Year award. Kevin De Bruyne won the inaugural award with the last swing of his boot at Southampton, but only Eden Hazard, 10, and Ryan Frazier, 9, currently have more than Sane. The most frightening aspect of Sane's game is that there is still room for improvement. As the manager said this month, we are working with Leroy a lot every single day to encourage him and trying to help him because he has the special quality to do something unique around the world with his speed and his aggression. With such consistency and attitude shown to every opponent, the big games inevitably followed. Guardiola opted to leave Gabriel Jesus out at Stamford Bridge to work sane into his Zion Mahrez was kept out for the do-or-die clash with Liverpool. Given his performance levels, only injury can prevent the no.19 from lining up against Arsenal and Chelsea in a few weeks as he soars high at the top of the manager's pecking order for the wide positions.